Hi, this is Rick from 4 Community, creating community spaces so you can connect with others and also with God. When I was growing up, I lived in a neighborhood where theft was kind of an issue, and I learned a valuable lesson. If I wanted to keep something, it couldn't look good. So all of my bicycles that I ever had while I was growing up in that neighborhood looked horrible. They worked. They were very functional, but they looked horrible because if they looked good, I knew that they would be stolen. As I got my first couple of cars still living in that neighborhood, I held on to that valuable lesson. They looked horrible, but they were functional. They got me from A to B, and they never got stolen. They never got their hubcap stolen off. They never got their uh, the rims removed. The valuable lesson that I learned is functional and, and keepability was far better than pretty and lost quickly. And we're heading into Palm Sunday this coming this coming Sunday, and I've got an uncommon perspective around you know functional and ugly as opposed to pretty and easily stolen. We're going to be looking at Mark chapter ten verses forty six to fifty two as I share with you a different perspective to consider for Palm Sunday. Mark ten forty six to fifty two. Then they reached Jericho. And as Jesus and his disciples left town, a large crowd followed him. A blind beggar named Bartimaeus, son of Timaeus, was sitting beside the road. When Bartimaeus heard that Jesus of Nazareth was nearby, he began to shout, Jesus, son of David, have mercy on me. Be quiet, many of the people yelled at him. But he only shouted louder, son of David, have mercy on me. When Jesus heard him, he stopped and he said, tell him to come here. So they called the blind man. Cheer up, they said. Come on, he's calling you. Bartimaeus threw aside his coat, jumped up, and came to Jesus. What do you want me to do for you? Jesus asked. My rabbi, the blind man said, I want to see. And Jesus said to him, go for your faith has healed you. Instantly, the man could see, and he followed Jesus down the road. Okay, so here is my unpopular opinion about Palm Sunday. Faith often looks ugly on the outside, but it's pretty on the inside. There are two Bible stories that happen around the Palm Sunday event. And the one that I just read typically is not the one that's read in churches. On Palm Sunday, there were crowds of people lining the streets to meet Jesus, celebrate him. It all looked very nice, all looked very pretty. Jesus rode on a donkey across these palm branches. But on the inside of the hearts of the people in Jerusalem was a desire for Jesus to be something that Jesus was not. They wanted him to be a warlord who killed all their enemies, reestablished them as the highest political power in all the land. And I mean, I don't mean anything bad against against the people in Israel at the time. They were oppressed. They were a oppressed group of people. They needed some help. I'm not coming down on them. However, they completely missed Jesus on Palm Sunday. Jesus walked into the city. He turns her well. He rode into the city on a donkey, turns around, and he walks right out, completely unnoticed as he's leaving the city. And he goes up on a high hill, and he weeps for everyone in the city because they were they were absolutely unaffected by Jesus. However, the story that comes just before that gives us a baseline of what true spirituality really looks like. Blind beggar Bart didn't look pretty. Blind beggar Bart didn't have any palm branches. Blind beggar Bart let Jesus into his life. And Jesus didn't leave. As a matter of fact, Bart continued to follow Jesus. And he noticed when Jesus moved in a different direction, unlike the people in Israel. Faith doesn't always look pretty. Actually, faith, faith often looks ugly. Here are three perspectives all around blind beggar Bart that teaches us something valuable that tends to be missed when we focus on the palm branches and that triumphal, so-called triumphal entry into Jerusalem. First of all, I want you to notice something about faith that Bart demonstrates to us. Faith is inconvenient. The text says a blind beggar named Bartimaeus, son of Timaeus, was sitting beside the road. Be quiet. Many of the people yelled at him. Faith inconveniences people. It inconveniences you when others have it. It disrupts your normal when you have it. It doesn't have to look like people in suits and dresses. It doesn't have to look perfect, like perfect teeth, sound like perfect voices, smell like roses. 
and it's not experienced as someone's someone whose life is fully put together and perfect. That is not what faith looks like. Faith doesn't look like some man or woman on the on the cover of this wonderful looking magazine. It doesn't look pretty on the outside. Real faith can be messy, tends to be messy, tends to be kind of chaotic, kind of disorganized, totally unattractive. This is the norm. Ugly is the norm when it comes to faith. That doesn't mean that it has to look ugly for everyone, but it's pretty normal for it to look like it's not all put together because you're moving in a direction you've never gone before. You're not, on, you're not fully on your game because you don't know what the next steps are. If you knew what the next steps are, it wouldn't be faith. It would be routine. It's disruptive. It's intrusive. It's life-changing. It is ugly. Is it always ugly? Well, no, because faith always leads to real change and real growth, and that can look wonderful. So why am I saying here in this text, around this text, that faith looks ugly? Because right here in the text, it's really important for us to see this. The next scene is going to show us a very different side of faith that looks pretty on the outside, but it's ugly on the inside. No change happened at all. And the people that were celebrating with palm branches as Jesus walked into the city had no notice at all. And I know that we haven't read the text. You go ahead and read it on your own. They have no notice at all as Jesus just walks out of the city. And they don't see him weeping for them because, because they, totally, they totally missed him. They didn't choose to follow him. In the scene, right here with blind beggar Bart, we're seeing a faith that looks ugly on the outside, pretty on the inside. Real change happened. So for this context, yeah, faith, faith can look ugly. It's pretty inconvenient. Secondly, faith looks stubborn. The text says these phrases, he began to shout. He only shouted louder, threw aside his coat, jumped up, came to Jesus. Look what blind Bart does here. Notice it because you're not going to see it in this next text with all the palm branches, with Jesus' so-called triumphal entry. Blind Bart is convinced about Jesus. He shouts, he shouts louder, throws off his coat, jumps up, he rushes to see Jesus. If you're convinced about Jesus, then you're going to be stubborn about pursuing him. You're not going to be easily distracted with the pursuit of something else. You're not going to be easily distracted, not, only, not notice Jesus walking out of your hometown. Jesus becomes your pursuit. Now, I mean, our lives are, are full. Our lives are full. Our lives are complex. They require us to show up in so many different ways. But with all the complexity, Jesus remains at the center as our biggest value, value and strongest pursuit. Faith looks stubborn. And stubborn sometimes is just, frankly, ugly and inconvenient. Here's a third lesson about faith that we learn from blind beggar Bart. Faith is connection. The text says, tell him to come. In the story that comes after this moment, no connection is made at all. Jesus goes into the city riding over those palm branches and then leaves relatively unnoticed, but not so, with blind beggar Bart. Jesus and Bart make a lasting connection. Blind beggar Bart looks like someone who you wouldn't want to spend any time with at all, even stand next to, stand too closely to. But his faith looked great on the inside because it wasn't about appearance. It was about connection. Real faith is relationship, relationship with God. And notice how much the text screams at us that Bart followed Jesus down the road. He was truly changed. He truly made a deep, significant, lasting connection. And that's what true spirituality is. True spirituality is relationship. Okay, Bart reveals what Jesus is really looking for. Acceptance of him and humility to follow him. That doesn't have to look pretty. That often looks ugly. Accepting Jesus and then accepting the humble role of becoming a follower of Jesus often looks ugly. Here's my takeaway. As we head into Palm Sunday, and I'm giving you a perspective that maybe won't be preached at church this coming Sunday, but it certainly will be talking about it in Four Community. May your faith look ugly on the outside, 
and so very pretty on the inside. Well, that's it from me to you. For now, would you please like, would you please share, please subscribe, and would you also please ask for the link? We meet at 1.30 and 6 o'clock um, every single Sunday, well, almost every Sunday. Ask for the link for community, creating community spaces so you can connect with others and also with God. I'll see you next time.